God speaks to Abraham, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. So God blesses Abraham and he says so that you will be a blessing. And through Abraham we are all blessed. We have a call, it's a mission. When the call comes, a mission. And Abraham has given a mission. So to Moses is given call and given a mission to liberate people of Israel from Egypt. Then we have and all the people are called are given a mission. And David, the king, becomes a blessing for the people of Israel, prophets, all are called and given mission. So all the people who are called and given a mission, they are blessed by God. In turn, they become a blessing to others. That's what we see in the whole of Bible. As God blessed Abraham, I bless you, I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. So all the, we find all people who are called by God, they have got a mission. As they fulfill this mission, they also become a blessing to the people to whom they are sent. So to Joachim and Anne, they are called with a mission to be the parents of Mother Mary. Mother Mary to be the mother of God. A great mission given to them to bring up this child. It's a great mission given to them because this child is going to be the mother of God. Most holy, imagine virgin, <coughs> most holy person, human being in the world, who have great mission given to them, all and given. And God, so it's a call given to them with a mission. And they are blessed by God, the child, and they also become blessing to all, all of us, the whole, the whole world. To all the people, they become a blessing. So it is a playing role that is given to you. If you look in the salvation history of Abraham onwards, all those who are called and given a mission, they play the role well. They, do, they, they accomplish the mission given to them. Each one, each one is given a different role. Abraham is given one role. Moses is given another role, a liberator. We, have, we, have, we will go through the book of Judges, see five. Every person having a different role. We have David, the king, another role. Prophets having another role to play in the salvation history. Each prophet also coming at different time and given a particular work, mission. So every person in salvation history playing a particular role. The role they have to play. They have to do the duty. A mission given to them. And only by doing this mission they become a blessing to the people. And that is possible only through a life of holiness. Every person who is called and given a mission is also given that duty to be remain holy. And only through that holiness they are able to accomplish the mission. You know the case of Abraham or Moses. Moses was always, always communing with God. You know, all, you know all the prophets are always communicating with God. So they are also given this task of being holy. Holiness is very important. Being holy. Just call mission, but the mission is accomplished through their holiness. And that's what we see in the life also of St. Joachim and St. Anne. The history says, tradition says they were very, very holy people. Very, very holy people. And they remain holy to the end of their life. That's also very important. Recently in Kerala, one priest left and married one Hindu lady. Married in temple. 
but this, this priest was performing here in the holy man. A charismatic preacher, somebody miraculous, I totally left and married a Hindu lady and married in te temple also. See how he was holy, but suddenly stopped being holy. That is not what we are called for. We have to be holy till the end of our life. There are so many cases, people are holy for some time, but then they lose all that and they, we, yeah, we find sometimes people going away and someday they can be great, bad, a great, bad example to the whole church. So we too are called, all of us <coughs> fathers here, sisters, all, all of us call and given a mission. Each one of us called, according to our parents, given a mission, we are all given a mission. To fulfill the mission, we have to be holy. Without that, we can't fulfill the mission. Just like St. Joachim and Anne, they were able to fulfill the role given to them because they are holy, full of faith, devotion to the Lord. So that's very important to be holy. That's what today the feast is inviting us, all of us, to be holy. Only when we are holy, we are able to fulfill the work that is given to us. And we become a blessing. Very important, wherever we work, we should become a blessing to the people around us. When we fulfill our mission, we become a blessing wherever we are sent. And we become a blessing with, the, with whomever we work. We are blessed when we are called and we given a mission, we are blessed by God in terms of us. We work in the parish, we become a big blessing. So many people are blessed through us. And the parish priest, Western parish priest, all we be blessing through that parish priest, Western parish priest, so many people are blessed. So <coughs> too, we work in a school, a hospital, social work, wherever we work, we are blessed by God and sent there and in turn we become a blessing. So we should bring God blessing to them. And that is possible only when we are holy. That's what we are invited today on this feast of St. Joachim and Anne. To realize that we are called, we are given a mission. In turn, we should become a blessing to all the people to whom we are sent. And that is possible only when we are holy. And we are invited today to be very holy. We are blessed by God. In turn, we have to become a blessing. We bring God blessing to the people we are sent. We can be God blessing to us only when we are holy like St. Joachim and Anne. God demands holiness from all those we are called. He demands it. If we are called by God to be a priest, a sister, we, God demands that we are holy. We demand from the God. We demand it from Abraham. We demand it from from all the people who are called, Moses and all others, prophets, to be holy. And man also the apostles to be holy. And that's not why church spread everywhere because the holiness. So the demand given to us, put on us by God, who are called to be holy until the end of our life to remain holy. Not for <coughs> some time, but lifelong. It is lifelong commitment to remain holy. Be perfect. As your heavenly father is a perfect. Okay. You know, God has respected us. Be perfect. As your heavenly father is perfect. So we are all called to that holiness and to bear fruit. And the Bible, the gospel Christ invites all of us to bear fruit. Bear fruit. Fruit that will last. Several <coughs> passages you find Christ inviting us, all of us to bear fruit. The apostles also said, go and bear fruit, fruit that will last. That is possible only when we are holy and obedient to God. How can we bear fruit? We are not holy. A good, a good tree will bear a good fruit. A bad tree will bear a bad fruit. So, in the case of Jokes and Jokes, and the hand, we have a good fruit. Is that Mother Mary? It's a good fruit. We also, by remaining holy, we can bear good fruit. And what God inviting all of us 
and the Gospel of St. John, chapter 15, by Jesus says, Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. That is holiness. That is holiness. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Communion with God. God remains in us, we remain in God. And apart from me, you can do nothing. You should also realize we have priests, the sisters, we are called to bear fruit and are possible with more, only in the life of holiness and fruit that will last and become a blessing wherever we are sent and possible only to our type of holiness but even invite for be holy and be a blessing to others on this day this day let us ask the grace of God that through the intercession of St. Joachim and St. Dan we are holy at the end of our life and then we become a blessing wherever we are sent to all the people we don't know where we will be sent today we are here tomorrow we are in another place but wherever we go remember we are blessed by God in turn we bless others we bring them to the Lord that's our work given to us we are going to be a call we are going to a mission and to do that for that and we are called to be blessing to others for that we have to be a holy person holy to the end of our life I send Joachim and Sandai and to bear food food that will last.